local people who didn't before this weekend. But now they're asking, what's in the pump? Lonnie West's son did him a favor this weekend and stopped by this station on Sherling Drive. My son come in and, and, and bought some gas and uh, never made it out of the parking lot. Instead of hitting the road with a full tank, West is watching his truck right away on a tow truck. The problem? This gas contaminated with sludge. Uh, I don't know what it is, but it looks bad. Over the weekend, Lonnie, along with several others, filled up at this pump, then broke down. I cranked it again and moved a couple of inches more. I might have moved maybe a foot the most, and then it just shut off. Cheryl Kelly Franklin also got a dose of the bad gasoline. She had her car towed to a local repair shop, and the news wasn't good. Her bill came to more than $1,200. I'm not emotionally upset. I'm not angry. I just want to see justice done. Dixie Oil sold this company over the summer, but it still helps provide fuel shipments here. The last shipment was of regular unleaded fuel for this pump behind me. But that happened on Thursday. The problems here didn't begin until Saturday. So the tank is not empty. It's not like they're, they're getting the dregs off the bottom. So there must be um, a good deal of contamination in the tank. Now the Department of Agriculture is testing samples of the bad gas while those who use the bad gas are testing their patients. I just hope and pray that I can get reimbursed, <laughs> that it doesn't cost me any more on my pocket than it's already has done. And I don't want this to happen to anybody else. And as affected customers fume, the problem pumps remain closed. Brittany Bailey, 13 WMAZ Eyewitness News. The Department of Agriculture says the test results will be back sometime tomorrow. Agriculture Commissioner Tommy Irvin tells us once they figure out what the contaminant is, they can pinpoint where the problem started. But a spokesperson for the Dixie Oil Station says the problem is not with the tanks, the pipes, or the pumps, but actually with the gasoline itself. Now, the problem of bad gasoline may be more common than you think. Johnny Henson with the EPD says excess water and underground storage tanks causes most of the problems. And while sludge is also an issue, the making case is more severe than what investigators normally see. If you're wondering if there is more bad gas out there, the answer may be, maybe, here's why. Bob Lindsay with Dixie Oil says all the stations in making get fuel from two main terminals. Several companies own portions of those terminals and sell rental space to other companies. So the cause of the problem at Dixie will be in the interest of every gasoline retailer in town. Gas station on Sherling Drive dispensed tainted gas to at least five vehicles on Saturday, rendering them completely undrivable. Authorities took samples from the pump and, then, and the tank that supplies it, but they won't have the results until tomorrow. An environmental specialist was called in because one driver was told she had sewage in her tank. When pet boys, when they drained my gas, they came out saying they had never smelled anything like that. And they used to draining gas with uh, some water in it or whatever, they, they, because they walk in cars all the time. And they said it was not just fumes, and they said it's sewage. It's sewage mixed with gas. It's not water. And if you think you may have been a victim of this bad gas, there really isn't much you can do until your car does break down. Then you have to take your car to the repair shop and begin the extensive repair process.